So are you going to make some some sort of DVD? Um, or was there a plan at some point? <coughs> there are always plans. I seem plans. to remember that. There are always plans. Sometimes. I think you asked me for my video from the last time, and I yep. was lazy and never got it to you. That's it's okay. I was lazy and never did it. So, we're so it all works out. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Um, yes, I was going to, but, oh, man. Uh, you know. Decided not. I, I don't even know if you're rolling yet. No. Yeah. You oh, are? No. Oh, yeah. Best taping oh. stuff. Good. Oh, how long it's have you been doing? It's outtakes. I don't know. A couple, just a couple minutes. Bunch of other stuff. I was trashing Manson and everything. Oh, you started to talk about No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Um, the uh, problem for me that. is that I don't like listening to myself live. Right. You know, so any of that, yo, bitch, let's see that sauce. What that sauce say? You got that hot sauce? Yep. Yep. Mr. Comedy himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, the problem is, I'd have to give it to somebody else to put together, right. and then I'd have to not watch it. Because so you I wouldn't even know if it was any good. Yeah. Can't well, you watch it with the sound off? And or you don't like watching yourself either? I don't... I mean, you know, I'm egocentric, so I can watch myself. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, I'm a narcissist to the end. Yeah. Um, but in terms of actually listening to it, because all I can hear is all of the shortcomings and all of the, you know, it's a fly right. encased in amber. And really the live show isn't meant to be that. Mm -hmm. You have to, for my taste, you've got to play around with it a bunch in post-production mm -hmm. to make it sound reasonably good. Because often it's just, you know, the live recording comes out and it's, <laughs> you know, and it sounds like shit. Yeah. And it doesn't, doesn't matter how great it looks, mm -hmm. it sounds horrible. And the idea of having to go through hours and hours of that mm -hmm. is just stomach churning. Yeah. I can't stand listening to my voice. Yeah. We it's actually, just not, it doesn't, it's a thousand miles away from a satisfying experience. I don't know, I just, I generally feel like, you know, it's, it's a nice idea, but it's not, it's not something I could stomach. I've got, loads of VHS tapes of us performing in the 90s and I couldn't watch a single one of them if you paid me. No way. There's just no way I could do it. I don't... I just don't like it enough. I'm glad that other people enjoy it. Yeah. But it's not what I would pay money to go and listen right. to. Yeah. So, yeah. so I don't know. Um, I'm yeah. glad that other people are <coughs> shooting it. And what is really interesting for me is seen behind the curtain. You know, that's why shows like The West Wing do well. You know, because you get to see the behind. You get to, to look at the wizard um, and see how it works. And that, to me, would make a really interesting TV. Right. You know, less the actual performances than just all of the mania and uh, the frustrations and the, the highs and the lows of it all. Um, I don't know. It might be an insanely boring DVD because most people probably want to see people, you know, yeah. trash in the dressing room raw, and throwing TVs out of hotel room windows and all of that sophomore juju crap that really couldn't be less interesting if, you know, oh god, I don't know if it was a football game. It's just, so what? Wow, gosh, that was new and revolutionary. You're, you're so crazy and you're really proving it there too. God, trash another dressing room. Yeah, keep us all interested. What the fuck does it have to do with, you know, with who you are as an artist? But what the fuck do I know like with you? I'm just saying. Um, I'm lucky. I have a bunch of fans who obviously don't get out enough. You guys need to get out more because they you know, support what I do, which I'm eternally grateful for. Because without them, you know, I'm just another guy on the street talking to himself. Wow, I've always wondered about guys that you see who are talking on the street. You know, the conversation that they're holding, is the other half of the conversation, the other person, like, you know, 1,500 miles away and, you know, somewhere in San Francisco, are they having the other half of that conversation? I've always wondered, but then I wonder about a lot of stupid things. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Rock show. Ah!
See, I'm just, I'm much more out of my head now than I ever was as a drunken drug addict. Really fun. Uh, oh. And although the tour is going to be over, oh, I get to go home and see my wife and snuggle with my boy. I've for six weeks. God, he's so cool. Can't wait. What do you got? Hey man, give me a dollar man. No, listen white boy, give me the money man. I, I ain't gonna run nowhere. No, seriously man. Give me the money. Y'all, I don't wanna go in that building and score. Huh? You know, just give me the money. Seriously, I can't run. Look man, in my operation, I got this car. I can't run man. I ain't gonna take your money man. Give me the money man. I'll take care of it. I got you covered. Baby. It's alright. Conversations you've had? No, yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. It's all money. It's all the, the silly book of my silly life. Yeah. Yep. It is amazing. It is amazing. Having died twice, not being dead. Wait a challenge.